Hello Grade 9 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you how to write expressions with rational exponents to radicals and vice versa. Before I go on, I want to say thank you to all the Grade 9 learners who have subscribed to my channel. Let's begin with writing expressions with rational exponents to radicals. In other words, we will be given exponential form and we're going to write it in radical form. Generally, if we have here a to the power of m over n, a is what we call the base, while this m over n is the exponent. Once we're going to write this in radical form, a will become the radicand and n will become the index, while m will become the exponent of a. So this is now read as nth root of a to the power of m, where n is what we call the index. Here, the expression inside the radical sign is what we call the radicand, and this symbol is what we call the radical sign. This can also be written in this way. Quantity of nth root of a to the power of m. And this one is read as nth root of a to the power of m. They are just the same. This is the equivalent radical form of this exponential form, a to the power of m over n. Now, let's have an example on how to write the expressions in radical form. And then we have to express the answer in simplified form. a to the power of 1 half. So here our base is a. The base a will become the radicand. Okay. This one will become the exponent, and if the exponent is 1, we're not going to write 1 as the exponent of a. This 2 will become the index. The denominator of the exponent is the index. And we have here a rule that if the index is equal to 2, we are not going to write anymore the index. But it has a value of 2 as our index, okay? So therefore, the equivalent of a to the power of 1 half is just equal to square root of a. Next, b to the power of 3 over 5. So, b, we have here b inside the radical sign, and 5 will become the index we have it here and 3 is the exponent of b and this can also be written as quantity of fifth root of a cube they are just the same another example 50 to the power of 1 8 so we have 8 is already the index and 50 is now the radicand. As we have said, if the exponent is only 1, no need to write 1 here as our exponent of 50. Another example. 20p to the power of 1 third. Take note that in here, the variable p is the only one that is being raised to the power of 1 third. So therefore, 20 will be outside the radical sign. So that's why we have here 20 cube root of P. So P inside the radical sign. And the denominator 3 is the index. And 1 here, do not write 1 anymore if the exponent of a variable is only 1. That's why the equivalent is 20 cube root of 
P. Let's have another example. 15x to the power of 4 fifth. Okay, same with example number 4. Only the variable x is being raised to the power of 4 fifth. So, 15 will be written outside the radical sign. So, we have here 15 outside the radical sign. And 4 is the exponent of x while 5 is the index and this variable x is inside the radical sign and this is now read as 15 fifth root of x to the power of 4 or it can also be written in this way 15 times quantity of fifth root of x to the power of Four. They are just the same. Next, quantity of x plus y to the power of 3 fourth. So in here, a certain quantity is being raised to the power of 3 fourth. So meaning to say this one, x plus y, will be our radicand. So we have to copy x plus y. It should be here inside the radical sign. And 4 is now the index, while 3 is now the exponent. And this can also be written in this way also. And this is being read as 4th root of quantity of x plus y cubed, or quantity of 4th root x plus y cubed. Okay. Okay. Number 7 example, 2 to the power of 5 over 6. So, again, 2 is the radicand, 5 is the exponent of the base, while 6 is the index. If you have observed, we can still simplify this because the instruction is asking us to express our answer in simplified form. So 2 to the power of 5, meaning to say we're going to multiply 2 5 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. That's why our final answer here is 6th root of 32. Next, number 8 example. Quantity of 4m to the power of 4n raised to the power of 2 third. Okay. Quantity of 4m to the power of 4n inside the radical sign here. And 2 is the exponent while 3 is the index. And this is now read as cube root. If the index is 3, it is read as cube root. So, cube root of quantity of 4m to the power of 4n square. Now, we can still simplify this one further. So, applying the laws of exponents, we have 4 raised to the power of 2, then m to the power of 4, that will be multiplied by 2, and n to the power of 2. And finally, we have our answer of cube root of 16. So why we have 16? Because we're going to raise 4 to the power of 2. So 4 times 4 is 16. Then here, multiply 4 times 2. We have here 8 as our exponent of m. And then here we have 1 as the exponent of n times 2. So we have 2. So our final answer is cube root of 16 m to the power of 8 n square. Now, 
we are going to do the reverse. This time, we are given the radical expression and we are going to write it in exponential form. So here we have square root of 3. So to write this in exponential form, we have 3 is our base and it has 1 here as our exponent. So we have 1 as our numerator in the exponent part. And remember that if we have here a square root sign, it means that the index is 2. Okay? Though you were not able to see the number 2, but it's already understood that it has 2 here as our index. That's why we have here 2 as our denominator of the exponent. So in other words, square root of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 half. Next, 6 root of 50. So we have 50 and then the index 6 will become the denominator and also 1 because we have here 1 as our exponent. Next, fifth root of x cubed. So we have here x. 3 is the numerator while 5 is the denominator. Another example, 10 cube root of m. So, it is written as 10, just copy 10, and then the variable m raised to the power of 1 third. Why we have 1 third? Take note that the exponent of m is 1, and our index here is 3. It should be the denominator of our fractional exponent. Next, quantity of square root of 15 to the power of 7. Okay, this can be translated as 15. Then here we have exponent of 7. Our index here is 2. So that's why the index 2 is the denominator. Last example, we have quantity fifth root of x plus y to the power of 4. So we have here quantity of x plus y. 4 is the numerator while 5 is the denominator. Okay, so if in case you have Clarifications, you go over the video or you may write your questions in the comment box. That's all for today. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Kindly like and kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1 That's all for today and God bless you all.